Hi, it's Arel. Um, welcome to this video. Before I start talking about the topic that I chose today, I want you guys to see these pictures and tell me the first thing that comes out of your mind. Maybe it's the word girl or expensive or hard to do or female or um, expensive. I think I've said that already. Anyways, if you guys don't know what these are, which I'm pretty sure you guys do, it's called makeup. And this is gonna be my main topic for today. So makeup is, well from the dictionary, makeup is a substance that could change your appearance or improve your appearance. Do you guys agree? To be honest, for me makeup is more than just that. It does sound kind of cliche, but I'm not lying. For me, it is art. There are so many different types of makeups and so many ways you can use makeup. You can use makeup as a daily basis kind of thing, which is usually what girls do every day, you know, before they go to college or something like that. They put on a little bit of makeup to make themselves look better. There's also people who use makeup on like big events, so like weddings or parties. Or graduations but there are also people who use makeup to express their feelings or to transform into a character or they use makeup to tell you guys a story so makeup isn't just to improve your looks it's also to express your feelings to kind of show a different side of makeup like makeup is like again as said art as in like your face is the new canvas not just the blank white canvas you use every time you want to paint something like your face is the canvas makeup is i guess your paint your makeup brushes are your paint brushes and use your imagination to make something out of it i genuinely feel like makeup has been so widely used that it's also okay if you're a guy to use makeup, you know? Like to express yourself, to make a character or to show a story. If you're a guy, go ahead. It's, I mean, it's art. Makeup is art and everybody can do art, right? So I kind of disagree when people say that guys can't use makeup because they're not. It depends on how you use it, what you use it for, and you know the main purpose of you doing makeup. A lot of people use makeup because they like how it feels on them. Lots of people do it because they think it's art or they make it as a hobby like I do. I feel like those stereotypes need to get away from this earth because makeup can be used for anybody, any age, any gender, know because I have loved using makeup since I was like in elementary which is probably when I was like nine or ten nothing wrong with that because I think it's fun to play with makeup it's it's like playing with your crayons but for me it's makeup my face as the I guess drawing book or the coloring book same thing goes with everybody else who love doing makeup the ones who make characters out of them or the ones that tell a story with the makeup or the ones who just want to express how they feel. There's a lot of people in the internet right now who uses makeup to describe a particular time or place and how they feel in those particular time and place, which is again, expressing yourself. And I think you should too. Don't be afraid of what people think about your makeup. I mean, everybody knows different ways to do it and it's, you're never wrong with makeup. A lot of people can have opinions on your makeup, but only you know how it feels, you know? If it makes you feel good, then do it! Go ahead, play with makeup. Um, if it feel, if it makes you feel pretty or confident, go ahead. No, nothing wrong with that. As long as you love doing makeup, go ahead and play with it. You know, express yourself. Because makeup is about to be something 
well it's not about to be it's already something really big and I, feel, and I feel like you can you know go hop in the wagon and join the makeup train so if you are interested in makeup go ahead nothing wrong with trying it thank you guys for listening to my topic today um, I really hope that you do try on makeup because I love it maybe you